When I was a little girl, my parents decided to build a cabin with their best friends, um, the Griesenbecks. It really meant a lot to us because we had this unique place that was small and quaint and we'd get away to and get away from Houston and just be out near the river and getting to play, get away from TV and um, just be kids and be creative. I knew that they had their great family history down here on the Blanco River. So when I was able to come down and see the, the cabin, see the church, Old Glory, I fell in love with it immediately. And I knew exactly why she wanted to get married here. I love outdoors and I'm more of a laid back person, not fancy formal, it's just not really me. And so once I saw it, that's when I was like, that is the place that would be so perfect and such a fit if I'm to get married one day. So I've just kind of had it in the back of my mind. When I walk through these gates, the first thing you see is the church and the split rail fence. It just reminded me of home. And I knew that in a way, Wimberley is home for her too, in a lot of ways. And so it was just a neat culmination of history kind of coming together at one place. And it was perfect. Elizabeth, in mom's opinion, was a little bit picky yeah. about who she dated. As she um, grew a little bit older, I said, you know, sweetie, maybe you shouldn't be just so um, selective. You're not going to find someone that's perfect. So, right. you know, I kind of was joking and said, why don't you go for 70-30? And um, <laughs> she very seriously said, um, mom, I believe God has just the perfect man for me. Elizabeth is about as perfectly designed as God could create someone to match up with Sloane's inner nature. She has a contentment, she has a patience, she has a spiritual depth. She blows me away with just her sincere, pure heart and in just her desire to worship God and live her life for God. I see that on a daily basis with her and I just, I just admire that and I just treasure that. And I think that that's more beautiful than anything physical or any adventure that we may ever have. Sloan definitely has a crazy, crazier side than the average Joe. Um, and I like that in him. I like that he's a little mysterious. You never know what you're going to get. He's definitely full of surprises. I think he inherited that from his dad. He captured a charm that his dad taught by example. A giver of the peaceful moment, an atmosphere, and a mystique. She will have those mountain peaks all the way through their marriage. They both have so many common interests and they're so so varied from sports, almost extreme type sports stuff, and yet their, their love of Christ and kids and family and it's just so natural between them. He's just quite a catch for sure and I feel blessed and just am thankful that, that God's brought me such a sweet person. I think Elizabeth and I are most similar in the aspect of the core belief and value in God. To Sloan and I, it's not just a ceremony, but it's really an act of worship. And I hope that people will leave sensing Christ's peace there. And I pray that they would know that's from the Lord and the Lord only and I just hope that everyone's leaves full of joy and it's just like wow they were meant for each other they are perfect they're two peas in a pod <laughs> I was talking to my mom on the phone and she was with my dad 
and she held up the phone to his ear. And I was like, hey dad, I love you. Just want you to know, you know, we're going down to Wimberley, we're doing the final wedding prep, kind of telling him, you know, you're the best. Like he used to always tell me that was his deal, like you're the best. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, there was like this silence, because I always kind of wait to see if he's gonna speak. And it was kind of like this real low, I'm fine. And then I was just like, what? And I, my mom got back on the phone and she's like, did you hear what he said? And I was like, no, I kind of heard it. And she said, he said he's fine. And to me, it was like brought tears to my eyes because I was like, I feel like he was telling me, go, run, like I'm fine. It was cool. <laughs> The thing is, I know he means it, you know? Because really, that's the thing he's always wanted. He just wants the best for us. And I think Elizabeth is the best for me. So, that's cool. It is kind of a fairy tale, as cheesy as that sounds. It, it just, when I think of Sloan and I think about if I were to write the qualities down on a piece of paper of, you know, my dream guy, it really is Sloan and I just never should have doubted. God knew and tomorrow I get to be Mrs. Sloanbrand. <laughs>